So welcome to my review of the Qi clock. So in this video, I wanted to talk about the uh, Qi clock, which has been released um, a few weeks ago, but I just got my hands on it uh, on the weekend. And I thought I would first do some solves for a few days and to just update you guys after I had the clock for a few days. So just what, right off the bat, this clock is by far the best clock pretty much out on the market, no doubt about that. And um, if you want the best clock, just get the Qi clock. Just skip the Sheng Shao, skip the Ling Yao. So first I wanted to talk about the um, build quality. And this clock has a way better build quality than the uh, Ling Yao clock or the Sheng Shao clock. Um, this clock feels very solid and doesn't feel like it will flex at all. Um, it feels very sturdy and also like it could take a beating like if you drop it or toss it around in your bag for whatever reason. So the clock doesn't have traditional inserts like the Ling Yao clock that are made out of paper. Um, it has inserts that are made out of plastic. Um, so as you can see, the inserts are very nicely made with um, a two symbol up where the 12 is. And it has, instead of like most clocks, a green, like most clocks, a blue and a uh, light blue side. It has a black and a white side, which gives a very nice contrast. And it just looks overall very, very sleek. Um, and in comparison to the Swiss clock, which is pretty much a modified Ling Yao clock, um, the performance is right out of the box between the two cubes, pretty similar. Um, the Ling Yao clock just basically sounds much more clicky because it doesn't have any magnets. That's the special thing about the Qi clock. The Qi clock works with magnets instead of just plastic bumps. Um, as you can hear, the Ling Yao clock sounds like this. And the Qi clock sounds like this. So right out of the box, the Qi clock is very, very good and doesn't pretty much need any lubrication. But I personally lubricated mine because it gives the clock a much smoother feeling and it doesn't feel scratchy. It doesn't really feel scratchy at the beginning, but I just looped it because I now prefer the feeling more and I just smoothened out the pins a bit because they were a little scratchy at the beginning, but now the clock turns perfectly fine. Um, one special thing about the clock is that it doesn't use any springs. Um, I can show you a difference between the Shengsha clock from the inside. And by the way, a nice thing about the Shengsha and the Lingyao is that they both use screws instead of you having to pry it open with a hammer and a screwdriver, which saves a lot of time and effort. So if I now open up the, so if I now open up the uh, Shengsha clock, as you can see, there are paper inserts, um, which cover both sides of the clock. Um, underneath there is just plain black plastic. Um, if I open up one side of the clock, I can take apart the shell of the clock. And now this part of the clock is held tight by some more screws so it has a, that it doesn't fall apart um, while opening it. And they're just two simple screws that don't need much of screwing to get loose. But now, as you can tell, if I carefully open the clock, um, there are five springs in the clock, if you can see them, 
without me dropping them because that would be pretty much a pain in the ass. But now as you can see there are some springs in here, five to be exact. And those five springs keep them the two halves prompted up of the clock faces. And that means that there is a little bit more friction because of these springs. And as you can see, the pins are magnetic from the inside, which is different to the Swiss clock because the Swiss clock, as you can tell, is magnetized from the outside and the Shengsha clock is magnetized from the inside as well as the Qi clock, but the Qi clock has a bit of a nicer magnet system. So if I now close back up the Shengsha clock and put it to the side because I most definitely won't use this clock in this review anymore because it's just pretty much a newer version of a Lin Yao clock and doesn't turn any better in my opinion. It just, it just pretty much isn't worth your money if you already have a Lin Yao because it won't turn any better. So but now for the Shengsha clock, the Shengsha clock has four screws which can easily be unscrewed um, and they don't fall out because they are very long and that means you won't lose them and they hold in fairly tight and you don't feel like scraping the, and you don't feel like stripping the screws while unscrewing them because they are weak saws like the ones in the Shengsha clock. So if I now open up the clock, you can tell that there are no paper inserts in the clock, um, which is pretty nice from a quality perspective because the paper inserts just pretty much break on you all the time. If you just want to open up your clock to check on it. And as you can tell, there um, are plastic inserts that are in here. And if I take them off, you can just immediately tell that there aren't any springs at all in this clock and everything is held in by magnets. And if I take one of these out, you can see that they are, uh, they each have individual magnets on them and they just magnetize onto the plate and they get held together like that. The pins are also very smooth because they don't have any friction pretty much on the outside if you lubricate them and easily fit in with the rest of the clock. So um, how does it compare to the Swiss clock? Um, the Swiss clock is 45 bucks if you order it from Tobias. Um, he still produces the clocks for um, personal requests and it's a very very nice clock pretty much was the best clock for years and um i personally think the sheng shao clock is better because it costs less it's good right without lubrication directly from the factory and um it's just way better from the build quality but the swiss clock is still a very very nice clock and if you own it, you ha don't have to feel like you have a bad clock because it's still a really amazing clock. But um, the, Sheng the Qi clock is just pretty much better in my opinion because it's right off the bat pretty much exactly as good as the Swiss clock without any work. So yeah, um, by the way, if you want to get this clock, uh, you can get it at cubeshop.ch with my discount code cheesecake for 15% off your order. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys soon.